Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always and today we're going to be showing you how to use some of the text tools in HitFilm Pro. Alright, so now that we've got our project started and our composite shot um, made, it's uh, under text of course if you don't know how to do that, go back to the media panel, click new, new composite shot and then um, you're gonna be right on track. So the first thing we need to do is add in some text that we can put some of this stuff on. And for whatever reason, that text is huge. So let's bring the font size down a little bit. Um, and we're gonna add in our text. If I could spell correctly, that'd be nice. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and select all of it. We're gonna bring our font up just a little bit and then we can get the sizes done. There we go. Now that we've got our sizes where I want them, um, we're actually going to just leave it the way it is. This 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 isn't going to be default. Everything is going to be white and, you know, you're not going to have a stroke here. So you can go ahead and change this stroke uh, into a positive value. That way you can see it. If you don't and you don't have a stroke and it's just the solid color, what's going to happen is when you go into the extrude, it will extrude the fill color and so it'll be just all green or all white you won't have a whole lot of depth so we're going to keep that at five um, and of course we're just going to go ahead and add the extrude effect onto our text go into the controls panel and there's a few different things that you can do with the extrude um, you can control the depth how far obviously how deep the extrude is and then whether the extrude starts from the front the back or both and then you can click on internal edges um, we're gonna go ahead and do that click the internal edges and it's just gonna fill the inside of like this O. so let's go ahead and uncheck that as you can see you get this weird you know double image and so go ahead and check that and it'll fill everything on the inside all right so and of course the the depth as well and that's really all there is to the extrude um the nice thing about this though is if you turn this into a 3d object yes you want to add the camera of course and go into the second view it's going to show you that exact thickness of what that extrude is and so you can change that in 3d space um, we're going to actually go back to our single view and change this back to a 2d plane get rid of that camera because we don't really need it um, so now what we want to do is we actually want to, sh I'm going to show you the uh, rotate effect. Um, the rotate effect is really neat. It's not just rotating the entire thing. So let's go ahead and slap our rotate on as well and then drop that down. What this rotate can do is actually rotate each individual letter. And so depending on what axis you want to go to, like in the X axis, you can change this and it'll actually rotate. Of course it's on the X axis and they're all going to rotate the same way. Um, let's turn the extrude off just to give it a little easier time processing as we do this. Um, and at the y-axis, you can see everything changes individually on the y-axis. And then, of course, on the z-axis as well. It looks kind of a, kind of neat. So you can play around with a lot of the different um, key framings for the rotate effect. And it'll give you a really neat look depending on what kind of animation you're going for. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the rotate effect off. And then the last one that I'm going to show you is the bend. Okay, so the bend effect has a few different things that you can control and change to give it a different look, to bend in different directions. Um, it's very self-explanatory. Of course, the center is going to be the center at which everything revolves around, so your text, depending on, you know, if you have an object that you're trying to kind of bend it around, you know, in a scene that you've created, you can change that center to the center of that object. That way it looks like it's being bent around that specific object. If not, you're just creating a logo, then you can, of course, change change the center to anywhere you want. Um, what we're going to do though is we're actually going to be using a lot of the controls on the screen because they're a little easier to understand on the fly and if you're trying to adjust something that you're building on screen then it's going to be a little easier. So if you actually look at this inside little arrow okay you can change the um, how far back it bends on itself okay you bring this here you can change the um, the size of the object you're bending okay and then if you bring this little blue circle with these little blue arrows will actually change the orientation at which um, you're bending your text okay so if we go ahead and bend that quite a bit you can see that it will change the way that it looks. It'll change the orientation of the bend, if that makes any sense. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put everything back to back to the way it was, back to zero. Okay, now the curve length is going to be, of course, just that, the curve length. Um, but if you're wanting to bend this in kind of a, a rainbow orientation, you know, over the top of something like a logo, then you can go ahead and just grab this little arrow right over here on the right side and bend him down. And so that's just a little few little things on the um, text tools in HitFilm Pro. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. If you guys want to see anything else in HitFilm Pro or even HitFilm Express, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below, and we will see you guys next time.